This is the third Humzyank server rack battery I purchased. I'm taking advantage of the current sale on those battery at $5.99 each. If you're on the market for server rack battery, consider buying them and you can get an extra 5% off with my link in the description. I will be using this 5 kilowatt inverter to show you how easy it is to set up a system. You get everything you need in the box. If you want to see what this battery looks like on the inside, you can check out that video on my channel. To turn on the battery, I switch up the DC breaker, then press the power button. Looks like it's working fine. Then I turn it off by reversing the process. Look at this color scheme. This battery and inverter were made for each other. I just connected those battery wire, making sure that I connect positive to positive and negative to negative. I connect the positive wire first, then follow by the negative wire. I follow by wiring two electrical outlet into an electrical box, then I plug it straight into the inverter. This is temporary, that's why I'm not using a connector fitting. Then I got my two set of Womex going to the AC out, putting line neutral and ground in the proper place. Then I turn on the battery following the same procedure as before. Next, I turn on the inverter. It should take a couple seconds for the inverter to turn on, followed by another 30 seconds for AC output. Once you see the line going from the battery to the house sign, that means the AC power is on. I got those two watt meter plug in to get individual reading for each appliance. I recently got this watt meter. I like it better than the blue one. I can get Hertz reading. It's user friendly and it packs more feature. Link will be in the description if you are interested. I plug the microwave to the blue one pulling 1596 watt, 1434 watt going to the space heater. The inverter showing 3200 watt is going out using a clamp meter showing 45.8 amp. Don't try this at home by plugging more than one space heater on one circuit. I'm doing this as a demonstration to show you how capable this small system can be. After turning on the second space heater, the power consumption will surpass 4000 watts and climbing. Now let's use the clamp meter again to see how much it's using. Well above 68 amp. Going back to the inverter, looks like the power consumption is settling around 4,600 watt. Now let me turn off everything because I can't do this for too long without proper installation. Overall, I'm really impressed with this battery. Comparing to more expensive battery out there, it is as capable and feature packed. The only reason I see you should not buy this battery if you need you are listed. Besides that, nobody come close to the current sale price at $599. If you are planning to buy this battery, you can use the link in the description to get 5% off your order. I hope this video was informative. If you like this video, you might enjoy the recommended videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. See you in the next video.